Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I got first ever time doing this. Usually, if you watch my channel, usually, you know, I do, um, like, I usually show how to script specific things rather than an overall tutorial. A subscriber uh, suggested this, and also, I kind of am interested to see if people, like, are interested in seeing, like, a general scripting tutorial, like, talks about how to script and stuff, like, the basics and stuff, as well as to see if I'm even good at teaching, because, yeah, I want y'all, I just want to let y'all know, bear with me and stuff if I, like, mess up my word or something, and, yeah, that's my fault and stuff. I'm going to try my best to be as clear, as clear as possible and stuff, yeah, but this is the first ever video, you're, you want to get into scripting and stuff, you just thought about you want to get into scripting, or, I don't know, you can be thinking about it for a minute. The point is, though, you're ready to learn the basics. I'm going to go over some really just basic things. The video shouldn't be longer than, like, 10 or longer than, like, 15 minutes and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. So, things we'll be covering are variables, printing, uh, the, the two different types of scripts, functions, and while loops. But, yeah. Let's get into it, though. All right. First things first. We have variables, right? So, well, actually, no. I feel like the better thing to do would actually get into server scripts like the different types of script okay so there are two different types of scripts right you have the blue the blue scripts that just say scripts then you have the blue scripts that has a player like a person on it a local script right <clears throat> to put it simply a local script pretty much will only make changes on the client now what the client is the client means it only make changes for that one player like if there's a change that's happening on me and it's client side, only I will see it. No one else, no one else in the server will see it, right? And then if you and then if you have a local script, as you can see, local scripts can only be run under certain conditions. If if they're in the replicated service, a re replicated first service, if they're under player like starter player character or starter player scripts and stuff, if it's under one of those two player GUI, the characters model or player's backpack it'll only work there and stuff so you, you have to make sure like you have it in the right like area and stuff like that right <clears throat> in certain places and it's kind of the vice versa right so now a server script right a server script pretty much means whatever change is happening it'll happen for everybody right all clients which means all players and the server itself will see right so to pretty much to pretty much put this in perspective right Server script service. Obviously, you can only use server scripts here, right? You can't use any local scripts here, right? But then if we go to starter player, you could put a you could put a server script here, but usually people just put local scripts, right? Like because you couldn't put a local script in the server script service, right? But yeah, though. So that's pretty much the difference between the two scripts, right? Now I'll get into variables with you guys. So head on over to server script service, click the plus icon, enter a server script, say first script, right? We can just name it first script, right? And then Let's make a first variable. We can delete print hello world, right? Let's make our first variable. Now variables are like, how do I say this? It's like, kind of like, it's like a definition. It's like you're making your own custom definition for something. Like you're saying like, this is what, this is the word, like how, okay. Okay, like for example, like how the word red is associated with the color that we refer to as red, right? We're making it pretty much like, it. we're giving it our own definition and then saying what this definition means. That's pretty much how to put it, right? So for example, right, let's make a variable for the base play, right? Which would be this whole thing, like, like a part pretty much, right? So to make variables, you first do local. Local means variable, right? You could not use local, but majority of the time people just use local and stuff, right? So I'm gonna do local. And then you would put the name, right? So let's say, um, say local, we say just local base play, right? Then, so we have a variable base play, right? Then we would put equal, because then we want to put what it's equal to, right? Like whatever this variable, like pretty much whatever this definition is pretty much means. Then we'll do game dot workspace, right? Then we're going in here, the workspace dot base play, which is a part, right? And we have created our first variable, right? So pretty much what we're saying is the name of this variable is base plate, and what it is is the base plate inside the uh, workspace and stuff, right? Now we can go down the script and we can reference the script. We can reference it like in any part of the script. We can get, we can use all the properties and functions and stuff, all the events, whatever, and stuff like that. We can reference it now and stuff, right? So that's pretty much a variable, right? Now some other examples of variables you can do numbers or words and stuff, right? Like you could do 
um, local word is equal to, then for words you would put quotation marks, then you could say, wow, right? For numbers, you would, you could just at least put a number. You could do local number and then just do one or 190 or 1,923, completely depends on you, right? So those are variables, right? Very, very useful. Everyone uses variables. Very, very important things to know. Then the next thing we have, um, do I want to do printing or functions next? Um, I feel like, yeah, I feel like we could do printing next. Okay. Okay. Actually, no. Functions, I can incorporate both. Okay. So we have functions. Functions are pretty much, it's pretty much like, it's pretty much how things, how things like, there's a cause and effect, right? I'm pretty sure everyone's heard of that before. Where like how everything, every action has an effect. You do something, something happens. You eat, you like, you start to get full right pretty much like that right so a function there are two there are two ways to write functions right it's honestly dependent on what you're trying to do as well as dependent on what your preference is i usually like to write functions like uh here i'll show you guys i'll show you guys just two types of ways right i'm gonna write the same type of function like it does the same thing but it's written differently right you have this way which is what i prefer game dot players dot player added connect function plr then enter to close it off this is a function right as you guys can see function in red right now pretty much this function is pretty much means whatever is inside of the uh, what's it called the, this these lines right pretty much means this will happen whenever a player joins right now we can come down here and we can write it write it a different way we can do function on join close parentheses so now we go for player here right click enter right then if we come down here and we do game dot players dot player added connect and then we put on join and then let's close that out and boom now we've connected that function so you see they they do the same thing if you put something here it'll happen every single time the player joins right they do the same thing that is written differently right depends on whatever the task is you're trying to do so that's how you so that's how you would use a function right now we're going to use what we just wrote with the function to now incorporate the next thing I'm going to teach you guys about, which is printing. Printing pretty much just means uh, it'll appear here it, depending on a certain, like if certain parameters are met, depending on if you have parameters set. And if you don't know what parameters mean, parameters just mean a, a list of requirements, right? A list of requirements. Like if, I don't know, if there are five or more players in a server, it'll print. We have more than five players like that. that that's an example of a parameter, pretty much just a requirement, right? So here's what we're gonna print. When a, we're gonna do print, then you want to put parentheses. You have to put parentheses, right? Then we're gonna do plr, which is the player dot name, which pretty much this means it's gonna print the player's name. So when a player joins the server, it's gonna print the player's name, right? That's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Now, if you want to include text, right? Like if you want to separate like words and stuff, you would put dot dot, right? The space is optional, but I like putting it just for organizational purposes. Then you would use your quotation mark like we did before. Then we could say has has joined the game, right? So we could do it like that, right? So here's how we're incorporating a function along with like actually making something happen, right? Which is printing, right? So if we click play, we can go ahead and just test this real quick. If we click play, as you guys can see, it says it, it says my name spyj19 has joined the game right there we go we've printed right so if you click stop then now for the last thing i'm teach you guys while loops right so i was going to teach you guys about for loops but i feel like that's like more of like later down the line but yes while loops a while loop pretty much is it'll keep running over and over again as long as the condition is met right as long as the condition is met it will continue running over and over again and pretty much is saying while this is uh, true pretty much as an example it'll keep doing this right well the most basic way to write this is while true do right then you click space uh, not space enter right and you put end right then whatever is in here it'll keep running over and over again now what you could do is for example to show you guys how like it only run if certain things are true local check right we could set this to false right and then we could have we're like some event happens to set check to um to false right and then if it's set to false the while loop won't run but then we can have some, another event where it sets check to true and then if it's true it'll continue doing this right while loops are pretty simple to understand and stuff a little word a little bit of advice for while loops and stuff make sure you always have a wait 
like here oh yeah wait if you don't know what it means it pretty much means like it'll halt whatever is next on the future line like on the next not future on the first like the next lines until like however long you said like you could say wait until something happens or just put seconds right this goes by seconds right so you want to put wait you at least have to wait for 0.1 of a second and stuff with a while loop if you get what I'm saying and stuff like that or else it'll crash it literally will crash it literally will just like you'll crash or not crash but like you'll try to play and it'll freeze like if you're in studio it'll freeze for like a few seconds depending on your depends on your device for me it freezes for like a few seconds and then it'll say like script timeout and stuff so yeah so let's say right we we wanted to do click enter right here let's say we wanted to do print I don't know we wanted to print um the number one right over and over again for whatever reason right we do print one then we have a wait here right then so it'll wait right we can put 0 0.1 seconds just so it has a wait right so then if we click play actually we don't have to click play you can either do run or play depending on whatever you're doing but for the sake of the video i'm gonna just do play as you guys see it continues it continues it just keeps going now obviously if I set this to like five seconds it would be going much slower it'd be counting every five seconds but since I set it to 0.1 second it's obviously going really fast and as long as the server is up and running and stuff like that and there's a player here it will continue well since we click play it will continue counting now if I click stop it stops right like it stops that's the end of it right there right so yeah that's pretty much those are some of the basics and stuff um let me know down below um if this video was helpful if it was understandable uh give me some suggestions on things you need to work on with my explanations and i'll take happily take that into account part two i'll probably be going over four loops um changing prop like changing properties of like objects um Basic, some basic functions and events and yeah that's probably what i'll go over in my second tutorial and stuff but yeah just let me know how this video was uh don't forget to like subscribe if the video was helpful and stuff mm, links to join my discord and roblox server can be found in the description and yeah i'll see you guys thank you guys for watching